Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the AI video. This one, we are doing an AI agent breakdown, a comparison. We're going to be looking at the just released chat GPT agent by OpenAI and Abacus AI's Deep Agent. And I'll be upfront here. They are both amazing and I use both of them. So I'm going to do a comparison, a little bit of a breakdown. We'll look at some specific use cases and I'll let you draw your own conclusions. Now, for those of you that are new to this, basically AI agents can browse websites, they can click buttons, they can run code, fill forms, create PowerPoint presentations, connect to email, they can do so many different things. But hey, let's get into it. Let's take a look at the comparisons. Here we go. All right, time to cook here. So here I am, I'm logged into chat GPT. And when I click on tools, and you click on that, you'll see agent mode, and I've got 400 left. Please note that I am on the pro plan. I'm on the big dog plan here, $200 a month. And it gives me access very soon. You'll get access to it on the plus plan, which is like 20 or $30 a month. But uh, it's not quite available yet here. If I go to uh, Microsoft Edge here. I'm in Deep Agent, and in here I only pay twenty dollars a month, and of course I get access to Deep Agent. Also, I'm going to put a link to both of them in the description below. So if you get lost and you want to use them, just click on them. We're good to go. Now let's dig in. Let's start doing some comparisons. All right, here we go. So let's start off with a PowerPoint presentation. Let's see how they compare to each other. I've got the exact same prompt in both of them. Here we are inside agent. Let's go ahead and load up agent mode. You'll see here all I had to do was click that button here. Let's do it again. Tools, agent mode, done. In deep agent, it's even easier. Just go over here. Let's go to the change the browser here. I'm inside deep agent. I'm just going to type it in and here we go. I'm going to press the go button, go button one, and then we're going to press go button two. And then while it does that, let me just quickly note here that this is not a simple PowerPoint, like make me a PowerPoint presentation for my kids. <laughs> birthday party like this is a digital transformation strategy for a mid-sized manufacturing company in 2025 include market research current trends competitive analysis all that good stuff there guys it's all in there i'm going to come back when it's done i'm going to show you them both compare them and then we're going to take a look at another prompt and see how that goes all right welcome back so let's take a look at what we got here so here is the chat gpt agent and over here is the deep agent by abacus ai and if i'm being honest with you guys here's the version by the chat gpt agent you can click play here and or just flip through the slides here uh let's go in deep here um the the deep agent is much nicer looking it's it's actually not even close really to be blunt with you here because if you look at this one here this is chat gpt agent this is poorly spaced right here uh the m is broken in half here and then this on the right side here does not wrap. You can see here that there's a uh, wording that keeps going off the page that should be in it. Uh, the O, oh, the numbers here in the circles are not quite spaced correctly. This 500 here doesn't quite look right. I mean, it's, it's nice. This is poorly spaced again here. So, I mean, it looks okay, but uh, it's not anywhere near as nice as Deep Age. And if I go there now, at least aesthetically, we're not going to look too much into the uh, whether or not the information is correct. I'm going to assume that they're both quite good at that. But if we go over here to Deep Agent, I mean, look at this here. This is what this uh, came up with here by Abacus AI. I mean, this is not even close, to be honest with you. Let's close the left side here and then just take a look at it. Here we go. So we'll just go through the slideshow here. This looks much nicer. The spacing is far better. <laughs> Look at that here. It's just nicer aesthetically. I mean, I got to give the marks. Oh, this isn't even close. This graph is nice. Guys, it's, yeah, it's crazy. The a Deep Agent is far better, at least in terms of visual output. And uh, yeah, would go through it again and check each line and make sure that everything's correct. Of course, you want to do that. But at least from a looks perspective, yeah. Not even close. Let's take a look at another prompt here that I've got for you. All right, welcome back. So let's do another one here. Again, for chat GPT agent, you want to click on tools and then agent mode here. And you'll see I've got 399 left. I have the $200 a month package, which gets me a whole bunch of these here. I don't know how many you get with the uh, basic package. I think it's like 40 and you don't get any if you're using the free tier, at least as of today, but that could always change in the future. So here we go. I've got another prompt here set. Uh, I haven't tried this one yet. It says, hey, build a team project management web application called TaskFlow Pro. And I gave it a bunch of features that I want. I want user authentication, product, project creation management, task assignment with due dates, priorities, 
team collaboration, etc. This is not a soft target. This is a heavyweight prompt here. We are going for something good. We're going for a serious web application. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And while it does that, I'm going to go over to the other side here. We're going to go into deep agent. But before I switch over, I will give this lots of points here for this cool looking interface here where you can see it cooking up the code in front of you here. I just think this looks really, really good. Um, let's go ahead and do I want to try Codex? No, I'm going to leave that for now. It's asking me a couple of questions. So let's just stick here for a second. Use authentication, logic, project and task management features. Would you like me to proceed? And I'm just going to tell it yes. Go ahead and do what you got to do. So it's just giving it the green light. Now, while it does that, let's go back to Deep Agent. It does something similar here. Let's go ahead and type the exact same prompt in. So we're being equal here. I'm going to hit the go button here. Deep Agent is also going to go ahead and ask me a couple of clarifying questions as well. So let's go back again to chat GPT agent. Here we go. And on the left side here, you'll see here that it is going ahead and cooking through it. It's asking me a couple of steps here. So it wants to know if I should do these steps here. Uh, just let's go Firebase, you choose. I'm just going to go ahead and let it decide what it wants to do. You can go ahead and give it its own, you know, say, hey, you pick AI. I'm not the guy. This is vibe coding. I don't know all of these things. You go ahead and pick for me. We're going to go ahead and do that. The same thing is happening here with Deep Agent. It's asking me about user roles, team size, email notifications. So while these are AI agents, they're humans are still in the loop if you really boil it down here so uh, let's go ahead and be the same here i'm going to say you choose so you go ahead and make those calls for me so we're going to keep this nice and even here let's go back to deep agent here it's gone ahead and cook something up here now i can write this up in firebase so i'm just going to go ahead again and say you choose so we're basically doing a uh, we're giving it latitude to go ahead and make choices. But you will notice here that it is asking us a couple of questions as we go here. So I'm going to go through this process here. That should be it for now. I know for Deep Agent, it's over. They're not going to ask me any more questions. It's just going to go ahead and do it. And on the left side here, uh, this is now going ahead and doing it itself as get uh, as well. So there we go, guys. They're both running. I'm going to come back when this is done, show you what we got. And then we're going to wrap this all up. All right, welcome back. So let's see what we got here, guys. Let's start off with Deep Agent here. On the left side here, you'll see all the stuff that it did here. It, all the files, everything, of course, is downloadable. You can deploy it either on your own server or you can use an Abacus AI server. I've used this quite a bit. It's really, really good. So I'll just go through this real quickly here. But on the right side here, you can see you can see the preview. And then here we go. This is the Task Flow Pro. So let's go ahead and close that up here. Let's make it a little bigger here. Look at this here. We got our dashboard set up here. We've got our projects. We've got, oh, create a project. We can create our own task. We've got our team. Like this is a fully functional working app. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, it's beautifully formatted. It's minimalistic. Uh, notifications here. Let's see what we got here. Settings. If you want to go ahead and make some settings, uh, some changes to the settings, I signed it as Hamlet. <laughs> Why not there, guys? But again, and you can check it on different, uh, oops, that's not the right button. You can go ahead and minimize it. You can do a bunch of different things in here. It looks really, really good. When you compare that to what we got with the chat GPT agent, here it is here. Build a team project. It does its thing here. It said it worked for five minutes. Here are the key features and rationale, which is nice. I like that. And you can see the reasoning why it chose and did what it did. I like that. But when you go down to the actual app, it says running TaskFlow Pro. And then it says unzip the provided archive and change it into the TaskFlow Pro directory. Start the server. Open a browser. I mean, SMTP, email, logins, all these other things, guys. You can download it all here. The it is not very user friendly now again if you are a technical person you could probably get through this no problem and all that but from a you know from a vibe coding you know 2025 ai agent perspective i don't think it's anywhere near as good as deep agent like this is just totally different and and far superior in terms of what you get so there's just a couple of examples of you know deep agent versus chat gpt agent please let me know what you think in the comment section below Thanks for watching.